Maybe it's one of the dangerous hurricanes I've ever seen in 57 years. I lost my home. I lost all the bike certificate, land paper, you know, history of my grandparents. And 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 uh, like plates and pot with my mom, but I had from 1963. That's the year that I born. She had a lot of stuff just to show what she had from her parents. You know, um, their grandmother would leave a pot. You know, the pot that you cook on the outside on the fire and 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 sewing machine and stuff like that. Well, um, it actually tear my family apart because everybody had to go in different direction, different settlement. You know, it's kind of out of hand for me because I used to my family this way. Well, when I think of my home, mostly I think of my parents, Benjamin, the late Benjamin and Ethelin Cornish. You know, both of them died. My mom died in 2002, August 7, 2002. And when she died, she said to me, Esther, I want you to take care of the family, take care of everybody. And when my father died in March 4th, 2017, he said the same thing, to take care of everybody. And he said, Esther, if anything were to happen to the house, don't you move. But I have to move in this case. But I understand what he means. You could go, but come back. But he, he don't want me to move. He want me to live here until I die. Uh, when we were able to use some of our technology and some of our prefabrication construction skills in our, our factory blue to create a, a house that we can move from Dallas, Texas and donate it to uh, a, a worthy family, needy family here in the Bahamas. I mean, it's just one small drip in the ocean with what the need is now, but this was kind of the prototype. If we can figure it out, learn from this experience, uh, then we'd like to do more of them. Uh, but uh, we felt like we needed to donate back as a, a small, small gift in our, in the grand scheme of things. But uh, if we can make uh, Esther's life better, that would be fantastic. Uh, so we're excited about this, this opportunity. We were able to use uh, construction techniques that we were been experimenting on for several years and put them into full place. Uh, transporting something so far across the country and across the water, the logistical nature of it was uh, was a challenge, but. We have been met with everybody with open arms. Anytime there was an issue, a permit or anything, somebody jumped on it. There were three people jumping on it. Uh, and who would have thought that a week ago the house was sitting in West Palm Beach and now it's, it's uh, within a day or two of being uh, lived in. And uh, it's pretty remarkable, remarkable. Like I said, all the people that have been here, uh, Sagoma Construction has just been outstanding. Uh, they've been our partner here on the ground. Uh, love to continue working and, and continue to to give back to the Bahamas. The construction industry is, is a very inefficient uh, industry and productivity has only gone up about one or two percent in the last 50 years. Uh, we've been working very hard at Beck to look at ways in which to increase productivity, lower cost, and one of the, one of the ways in which to do that is, is pre-manufacturing uh, or essentially building something in a condition space in a warehouse uh, where the workers are working almost on an assembly line basis and moved it from Fort Worth, Dallas-Fort Worth, to uh, West Palm Beach and then over to Nassau. We didn't want, we purposely did not want to fully complete the house because on the other end there's an economic aspect of it is you want to be able to provide employment for folks on the other end. So we had finished approximately 80 percent of the house and then 20 percent of it was done here. So it's creating jobs uh, with, a, with, a, with a great return because now we're providing housing for needy folks that, that have been without a house for, in some cases, 18 months. And this created the opportunity to bring her family together under one roof. Uh, it's been a challenging two years. On top of that, we've had COVID. What better thing to do to celebrate your family together? Uh, I can't think of anything better 